Okay, let's go and see some of the useful uh, operations. And we have some functions for those operations in Python. And these are some, some operations, right? There are many other operations, there are many other functions. Uh, let's go and see some of the useful operator or operations here. So we have a range operation. The range function allow you to quickly generate a list of integer. It comes in a ha in handy a lot. So take not take note of how to use it. There are three parameter you can pass the start and the stop and the step size. So that thing we have seen in the earlier classes of uh, loop, I think. So at that uh, for loop, we have seen that how we can use a range. So generally, range will take three statement. Here in this example, it has taken two statement. Two statement means start and the stop. The start condition means it will start from zero and it will stop up to this stop condition minus one. So it will stop up to 10. Uh, here if you see, uh, there is a range and range is, uh, we have defined zero to 11 and we are creating a list out of it. Okay, so list and then uh, in bracket we can write the range. So when is going when we are going to execute it, it is actually generating the list. And in the list we have zero to ten statement. Here also zero to eleven um, uh, number will come. So zero to eleven numbers are coming in the list. In this particular example, a range is. Uh, starting from 0, it will go up to 10 because the stopping is 11 and it will go two step at a time. Means it will iterate up to two steps. So it is starting from 0, then 1 it is skipping, then 2, then 4 it is, 3 it is skipping, then 4, then 5 is skipping, then 6, 7 is skipping, then 8, 9 is skipping, then 10. This is a list. Now again, this is an example where the starting value is zero, it will go up to 100 and the step is 10. So 10 step at a time, it is going to print. So this is all about your range function, okay? And uh, this, how we can create the list from the range. Enumerate, so you might have learned this enumeration in the uh, C, C++, but here the enumeration function is uh, uh, somehow different. Enumerate is very useful function to use uh, with a for loop. So in this particular uh, example, let's see we have a variable index count, which we have initialized by zero. We have a function we have taken and there is a variable letter it will uh, iterate this particular string a b c d e and there is a print statement in the print statement what is that add index and the index value we are, here we are going to print and then there is a uh, letter and uh, here we have used the format function and this format function is going to print index count here instead of this curly braces and letter instead of this curly braces and just we are going to iterate okay so this is a uh, example of uh, enumerate this okay this is the example of enumerate here now uh, we have a for loop now in this uh, we have two variable i and letter and uh, we have used a function enumerate and uh, we are supposed to uh, iterate a to a b c d and up to e now in this particular also we can uh, when we'll execute it the same output will be there but here We can have two variable, one is I, another is letter. So when the enumerator will be used here, now I will be allotted the index ID 
and the letter will be allotted the actual value on it okay now what happened here is the letter is uh, is uh, a character variable and it is iterating character wise and this index count is actually counting the index of it but here we doesn't have to use the index count here because it is iterating from a to e for the index we have used i and for the character we have used letter this enumerator will just uh, what uh, divide this particular string into two part one is the index part another is the character part this is the use of enumerator let's see some more example okay so when we use enumerator so there are iteratable item that we have to use and uh, this enumeration will starting with zero so iteratable any object that support iterator means the string or the list or uh, uh, maybe set maybe dictionary and there is a index that we are using here so it is starting with zero the index is starting with zero by default okay let's see this example and how this enumerator is going to work there is a list l1 where we are putting the value eat sleep and repeat there is a string s1 where we are putting a string geek we have taken two variable object1 and object2 and through the iterate, uh, iterate uh, function we are putting these objects here so first object is the list object another object is the string object and after that uh, it is going to print the type of the object one so what is the type of the object one so definitely it is not uh, the the object that we are providing here is it will become so what is the output here the type is enumerate so the type is going to put as enumerate and then this enumerate we are putting into the list see we are putting into the list and the second uh, uh, enumerator also we are putting into the list but the second uh, uh, this uh, index will be two so in the first list it is going to print like this see enumerator has two part one part is the index part another part is the object part so this are again index object again index object here because we have uh, by uh, intentionally given that it the index should start with 2 so it is starting with 2 and then increasing the value so this is how your enumerate look like tip function is going to use so we have two list here this is one list and this is another list uh here we are zipping up these two lit list and after zipping we are putting that particular zip value into the list and we are making a whole list so you can see that this list one is having 1 2 3 4 5 and list two is having a b c d e but it is going to uh be zipped zip means it is not going to append like when this is going to print 1 2 3 4 5 and then a b c d e it is actually merging one one uh, uh one one uh, value here so zeroth value will be merged with zeroth value once one uh, index value will be merging with one second index value will be merging with second in that way it is going to uh, merge using the zip function and uh, Let's run this statement. So your output will be like this. Again, if we are merging to zip, it is going to create an uh, to uh, list. It is going to create another list. Okay, this is another example where we are zipping. list 1 and list 2 in the list 1 we have 1 2 3 4 5 
and the list two we have a b c d e and there is an item item one and item two and we are just printing the values here so one item one will take one item two will take a in that so you know that how we can uh, do for the uh, dictionary also because in the dictionary also we have two values one is the key another is a value for that so in that way we have a pair of key value pair in the dictionary in this particular uh, example actually this is not the dictionary right so here this is uh, one object here this is another object here zip object this is another zip object this is another zip object and then we are making all together a list okay let's see the in uh, operator and how it is going to work the in operator so in operator is going to work when we need any type of condition to satisfy so it says that x which is a character in x y z so it says that it is just looking for the condition and the condition says that x is in x y z or not if it is there then it is going to print true if it is not there then it is going to print false okay so in a statement is individually if we are using so it will use it is very much useful for the condition if we want to give some sort of condition for that it is very much useful then we have min and max function what min function will do is min function will find out the minimum value from the list and here max value will find out the maximum value from the list so we have to put the argument in min and max function then there is a random operator the so python comes with a building random library uh, there are a lot of function including this random library so we will only show you two useful functions for the random so here we have from this is the keyword then the operator random import shuffle so what is that this shuffle shuffles the list in place meaning it uh, won't return anything instead it will affect the list fast so let's say this is the library right and we are importing the shuffle function from that particular library so this is how we can do the import so we have written from which library random library we are importing our program shuffle function getting it now watch that shuffle function will do in random uh, library this shuffle function is going to shuffle the values so in the my list this is the my list okay let's execute this my list and after that we'll uh, execute this shuffle and now you can see that it is going to randomize the value so here the value are 10 20 30 40 and 100 here the value are 10 30 20 40 and 100 so here the this these two value has been shuffled this is another function is rand int uh, it will uh, uh, return the random integers including that particular value so rand int we have imported from this particular library so this is how we can do from random library we are importing rand int function now this particular rand int function we have given the range from 0 to 100 and this rand int will give me any random integer from that particular range that particular range okay so here it is giving let's say now if i'll execute definitely it will give me the other random value now it is giving me 40 and now this will also give me some other random value so if we need any sort of random values i can use it okay input function you already know for taking my input from the user so i think all these operator are very useful in the uh, in the python and we'll use it uh, very frequently